Hey folks, I'm going to walk you through some things to look for if you're using the EcoWorthy um, solar trackers. This, some of this stuff will apply regardless of what tractor you, or tracker you use, um, but I have these EcoWorthies. I'll tell you right now as we walk through this, I'm working on this area. The guy's adjusting right now. I'm working on this area. The wiring's a mess. Stuff is everywhere. I know I'm going to catch some crap about that, but I just got through. Well, I'm not through, but I'm in the process of building a fence around this which is something you should think about if you have any animals because they will get in here i've had cattle get in here um you know i do have an electric fence around this whole thing but uh it's temporary at this point i just i worked on this yesterday so this is coming together i think it will keep cattle out for now um whether or not this would keep hogs out that's pretty questionable um I'll probably come back and put some fence around the bottom. But anyway, uh, location, fencing, important. Um, in terms of mounting these things, um, you want to face this thing south. They actually sent a compass with each of these kits. And you want to make sure that you take each one and be very conscious about pointing it south because in my case I, I basically mounted the first one of these which was that one and I pointed it at a tree out there which I knew I'd already I did use the compass and I knew that was south well great then when I mounted the next one I pointed it at that same tree same thing with the last one well <laughs> At this distance, south moves pretty quickly um, when you are looking at a short a point right there versus the south pole. So in other words, as I'm looking at this short point, I'm actually not facing south anymore with these units. I mean, I'm off by a few degrees, but I can tell you when these things face this way, you'll see that they're all, they're, they're not parallel and it drives me crazy. Um, I mean, they wouldn't be perfect parallel, but they're all off because that slight amount of degrees and then as these things are tilting to get their orientation, it makes them look funky. I'll, I'll take a picture later of that and show you. Um, another thing, and I haven't done this on everything yet. I did it on this one, which this is a new motor. Um... I got this from somebody else on YouTube and I wish I knew who it was so I could give you credit but somebody on there that was mounting his motors upside down and I guess when you're using you know any of these actuators I say motor I'm talking about the whole actuator anytime you're using these you know mounting them upside down will let water run off instead of I think this is potentially the area where it's getting it but I've gone through a few of these motors. <clears throat> so anyway, mount those upside down. Doesn't have any impact. Um, but the Eco were these. This is... So I've received... Obviously I have three of these, but I've had some bad controllers. When you get these controllers, the earliest one that I got, it... I had to wire in the wind sensor I had to wire in the uh, light sensor up there and then I had to basically reverse the wires on the east-west motor because they were backwards and so it was doing the opposite um, when it started running anyway I've found that newer controllers that come out everything's pre-wired things are better um, again this is this is all a mess right now but just be prepared for that like you might get a kit that has you, you have to wire things you might get one that's i guess it all just probably depends on inventory and where you are but sometimes you might have to pull that cover basically have to pull this whole thing off and i'll show you all a board later i got these guys set up every three minutes they adjust so you're seeing them every three minutes and the problem right now what we're getting is 
you know, I've got the sun's right there and getting these dark clouds um, covering uh, another thing. Now, my my controllers, all my inverters and all that stuff are about 100 feet away from here. So I've got my wires going underground. I didn't account for enough wire. And so now I've got this issue where I've got wires hanging. Now in my case, I didn't want to come through here and put a bunch of pipe underground, um, partly because I'm lazy or I really don't have time to do it. We'll, we'll go with that. So what I did is I ran this slick wire, high tension wire. It's not really all that taut, but, and I'm gonna clean all that up and then probably put some sort of cable organizer over it. But just know that the, the amount of wiring that comes out of this thing is, is uh, well, if you're using additional solar panels for charging, which I am. So this particular unit, this is my first one. I think that's like a 20 watt solar panel. Uh, it comes in, it's got a little controller. I can put these links down. Essentially, I'm just charging this little 12 volts, probably like a 7 uh, amp hour battery. <clears throat> but when you do that, you've now got more cables because you got to have, of course, the solar cable. Then you got the solar charger. Um, and then, of course, the battery. Uh, now, what I'm doing is I'm right now I'm, I'm working on getting that battery in there over into this little box that I made which was just kind of just a hack because I had some some old wood from a deck but in here's my battery now what I will do I've got all these cables running all over the place I'll drill this out I, you know I'm trying to do it where I can keep it one somewhat water resistant although there's nothing in there that can get hurt. But two, I don't want to drill holes in this stuff. Anything that a mud dauber can get into out here will get mud dauber nests all over it. So any, you know, I got to keep the holes like, I don't know, two millimeters or smaller. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so in this case, this battery now is being charged by that solar panel over there that's on that corner and then this is also charging of course this one right here in front of me um, yeah so this will yeah this controller is kind of a hybrid I'm, I'm missing this nut because I've gone through so many controllers and like I said, the different kinds of wiring that I'll pull the wire off of one and then try and put it on. And, you know, they change the tooling. The, the nut doesn't fit right. So like these, well, these, these nuts are okay. Um, I'm missing this one, which again, all in plus. Um, there is one more thing when installing this. And I don't, I wish I had <clears throat> the part out, but there's... Let me turn this. So this is a problem that this controller is having. This controller is about to get replaced too, by the way. Um, I hit south and it didn't do anything. Then I hit north, nothing. I hit south again and it works. Um, so this motor, this unit, and, and you could hear the relay even when it wasn't working. So the relay, um, when you hear the relay, that doesn't mean that it's the motor always. The relays are popping on this thing uh, and it's still not moving. And I've replaced the motor. Um, I don't really have a way to explain this. I could do this later, but when you get these pieces, they have a washer in there and on mine all of those were upside down and I swear I spent an hour I even watched videos on how to mount those on there and the videos were even wrong like if 
in the video, somebody would have actually tightened the screws that they were showing, these things would have popped right out um, because they were upside down. Um, again, I'll show you, but if you're getting, if you're installing one of these and getting frustrated, um, that could be your problem. Let me go reset this guy. If you don't exit that mode, this guy will sit there forever, which is okay. But let me, let me bring this over to the west. I'm going to show you. Let me quit this one. Let me show you this other one because this is the oldest. I'll show you this sensor in here. I, I don't think I'm having problems with it yet, but you can see how bad that is yellowing. And I can only imagine, I mean, this thing's been out here for six months. Can only imagine how yellow that's going to get with the UV. And I I don't know how that's going to operate, to be honest with you. So I may end up having to polish that thing or whatever, but I would think they'd use a better high-grade plastic UV resistant. These panels, when you, oh, when you, another thing with cosmetics, when you mount these things, mount them square. This one I built 100% myself, and I was just figuring it out, and there were parts, I won't say missing, it, like some of those nuts weren't put together right, and a bunch of other things, but, well, there were missing parts. There weren't enough screws to finish some of this. And I did have to get squirrely on some of these. There's a bolt that comes through the top of that, goes in, um, goes through that little washer thing. But then it hits this rail. If it doesn't go through a hole, it hits this rail, and that doesn't let you properly tighten it. So you always got to check that. They don't all have to go through a hole. Some of them end up fitting better than others. But like out here, I had to adjust all that so that that would go through a hole. And that's it, I guess. I have other things I know I've missed here, but um, I'll come back if I think of more.